Uh, he's the voice of college football on our network, Joel Klatt. Don't be the guy in the room with the long, sloppy looking untucked shirt. Untuckit.com. GQ calls a perfection code heard 20% off. I'm pretty fast at reading that stuff. It's called a professional. <laughs> How are you, Joel Klatt? Good to see I'm you. Good. What's going on today? Well, your guys give me notes. And so, you know, the notes this week are all you making crazy statements. So let me start. Oh, you're, you're off the rails okay. with some of your takes. Okay, first today. of all. Go. And, and this is just my theory, and I made this theory last week, is that I watch the draft, and I watch mock drafts, and I watch recruiting, and I watch the games. No other conference can give me, I don't think, LSU-Bama. It just looks different. So the guys come out, and they go, LSU-1, I got uh, I got Georgia-4, I got Bama-5. They're telling me, the committee, and I don't have a problem with this committee, saying, kind of like to set it up. So we can get two SEC teams in here. Uh, maybe. I think that they, you know, they clearly value that conference. They've got the, the, the top undefeated team, the top uh, one loss team. In fact, uh, the two top one loss teams. They got the top two loss teams. So they, they clearly value the SEC. Do you have a problem with that? Hi. Um, not, not in the sense that I think that the top five teams in the SEC are really good. Yeah. They're, they're all top 15 programs I mean, in the country. Auburn, so, Auburn could be five. They beat Oregon. Yeah. I mean, listen, they're, they're really good at, at the top end. I think the hard part, and this, and, uh, this is not a knock against the committee because I think it's a really tough job, in particular this instance. Colin, there was not a great way to, to slot fourth through 10, four through nine, right. right? There really wasn't a lot of easy answers. The frustration comes in for people that aren't in the South or in SEC country or aren't, you know, SEC people. The problem is, is that you can see them use one rationale in one spot, and then it's not afforded other teams not well, in that well, conference. What do you mean? But be specific on that. Okay. Specifically, they clearly value the fact that Georgia has really quality wins, right? Yeah, it should matter. Okay. It should matter. Um, they also lost to South Carolina, and by the committee's own admission, the second best win of any team in the top 10 is Minnesota over Penn State. So why isn't that honored? So that's, that's where I'm like, Penn State, maybe they don't think as highly of them. Uh, but they do because they rated them ninth. Mm, it's not a great number. Oh, it's better than Auburn's number. Right, so so you're telling me that like, oh, Georgia carried the day with great wins, and I'm not disputing that fact. They do have have really quality wins, but to suggest that Minnesota's win over Penn State is not more quality um, or at a higher capacity is flat wrong factually based on the rankings that them, the committee themselves, gave us. All right, so so that's uh, the only. Point. Okay, so we got Tua here is going to go number one in the draft, and you're, oh, you, no, 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 you no. Calm fall, down, calm down. Well, you've fallen into this camp. Joe Burrow throws a couple nice screen passes. Now you got him uh, as Tom Brady. Couple well, nice you, screen you got passes. Him a couple throws downfield with those athletes, and suddenly he, this guy's going to change the league. Listen, you want everything to be definitive, right? Like that's the you want everything to be. This is not definitive. Most stuff is. Uh, no, it's not actually. This is going to be incredibly fluid. In fact, the top three, maybe four, five quarterbacks. I think teams all over the NFL are going to have them slotted very differently. Joe Burrow very might well uh, end up being the number one pick in the draft. Um, Tua might end up being the number one pick in the draft. Um, Herbert might end up being the number one pick in the draft. There is not going to be a consensus around these quarterbacks. They all have strengths. They all have some weaknesses. I think that the most well-rounded of those three in particular is actually Joe Burrow and what he's proven out. How come uh, Ohio State say get out of here? Urban Meyer's well, pretty smart. Yeah, get out of here. Dwayne Haskins was pretty special. He he broke Drew yeah. Brees' single season records in almost every single category. So they had two guys that were clearly special quarterbacks. One of them was younger, Dwayne Haskins, and they actually thought he was going to be around for longer. They thought they were going to get more Fair. years out of Dwayne Haskins. Fair. So, so they went with him. Joe Burrow then was afforded the opportunity uh, okay, to you've transfer seen, you've out. Seen, you've well, seen. What do you not like about Burrow? That's the. I guess it's, that's it's what, not. But it's not what I don't like about Burrow. You could have a room full of models. When the supermodel walks in, you're like, oh, she's a supermodel. Tua is Russell Wilson, left-handed. He, um, he doesn't even look the same. as Maybe, and I love Tua. I love Tua. He came off a surgery table an hour later. He's Part eating. of the issue with Tua is that when you look at his splits and watch his games when he faces his toughest competition, the level of his play goes down. Well, yes, should. They're better teams. Well, then why does Joe Burrows go up? Well, I mean. Why did Baker Mayfield's go up? Why did Kyler Murray's go up? Like, there are other quarterbacks that play better statistically against their better competition. And one of the other things that Tua is going to have to at least show is that he can be healthy. Remember, in a lot of these games fair. that he plays against tough competition, he hasn't been healthy. No, that's fair. That, that, Joy and I have both said this. That so he, he's wonderful. Colin, I'm with you. Like, he might be the number one pick. There's no doubt. To say it's concrete or definitive at this point is short-sighted at best. All right. 
Another shot at me, cheap shot. All right, uh, I try to make this thing work. I try to be a professional over here. Guys throwing arrows at me every 15 well, comments. You're trying to be definitive in November. It just okay, doesn't work Okay, so here, way. I want you to... By leave. the way, Chase Young might get sick, uh, selected number one. Oh, overall. God, don't even go there. Well, he's the best prospect, there's oh, no doubt, oh, in the draft. Oh, I might, no, seriously, don't even go there. Is he not? Is the, he not? If the Cincinnati Bengals... They may, they may not. I'm just telling you... I would be... I will... I will Demand this network take the Bengals logo off all of our cards. You will. You're going to demand that. I'll go upstairs to Shanks. I've said they don't exist. Interesting. As a franchise. Interesting. So if they take the best overall player, oh, that's what you'll say. He's not. Khalil Mack's not worth a point in an NFL game. Okay, that's fine. Aaron Rodgers is worth 11. You got to take the quarterback. That's why I don't listen. I don't disagree with you. I'm just saying that none of those quarterbacks are the level of pros, prospect that Chase Young is. I believe that there's only. One guy a draft where you can be like, that's a Hall of Fame talent. And Chase Young is is that guy. You can see him with a gold jacket. There's no doubt. And by the way, the second most, uh, I would say, advantageous aspect of any team is the ability to rush the passer. You got to get a lead like Bill Walsh said. You get a lead, and then what do you do? You got to okay. rush the passer. I totally disagree with that premise. The first thing is you get the house, the quarterback. The second thing is you get insurance for it, offensive line. There's, okay. not, a, there's not a bad team in this league with a good O-line. Pittsburgh, great O-line. Dallas, great O line. Rams have all sorts of sh you know wide receivers and Aaron Donald. So, can't so you're, get a first down. You're telling me that definitively, you know. See, I know Chase Young's going to work out in the NFL. I know it. These quarterbacks, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah but you, you know? just said get a lead. I get and it. Then no, listen, you guys. Like, listen, you guys are going to gang up. You do it all the points. time. That's wait, fine. Wait, wait. I'm just telling you the best yeah. prospect in the draft. The okay. only one with NFL talent. Or excuse me, the the only one with Hall of Fame projection talent is Chase Young. They're going to select okay. the quarterback. Someone's going to select the quarterback number one, as they probably should, okay. because you can't win anything without a quarterback. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's not a consensus number one quarterback yeah. in this draft. You've gone 15 seconds without a cheap shot. You want to take one before I go no, to the no. next segment? No, 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 no. Right. Keep ganging up. Let's All go. Right. So I said this again. This is it's outrageous how I'm marginalized. I just said, Saban 68. Okay. TV offers out there. Two is leaving best player he's ever had at the position. The game now, unfortunately, is not moving toward him, away from him. Six weeks to prepare, he can't stop top quarterbacks. He's losing really good assistant that wore Pete Carroll and Mac Brown out and Urban in oh, uh, Florida. Oh, by the way, a uh, transfer portal, a control freak, Don't guys like can it. leave. Uh, early signing period. It's a, you, can't, you, know, you can't go to his, Lake George, his Georgia house. And I think Nick thinks about retirement. I think he thinks about it more. Driving to work, listening to this show, which he always does, he thinks about it. Am I nuts on that? Um, Closer I'm than we think. I'm sure everybody at that age and at that point in their career at least thinks about it. I'm not telling you wrong. I'm just going to tell you, I don't think that the game has passed him up. No, I no. jumped off of that cliff with you a couple of years ago, and yeah. I'm not going to jump off you of that. You pushed me. I didn't want to oh, go. Oh, really? I feel like you put, like we both... Kind of jumped no, off there. No. It's like being on, you know, you you, you pushed me. I was he, I was head first. Uh, Saban is still, I think, the the elite coach in college football. Not denying that, um, but he has been the best coach of this generation. I'm sure that at some points he thinks about, hey, you know, when is it going to be my time to pass this off to somebody? But the hard part is, is that you had Urban Meyer with a succession plan with Ryan Day. You had Bob Stoops with a succession plan with uh, uh, Lincoln Riley. That's not Nick's problem. Well, it's not, but it, but it's also. It's hard to think about what is this program going to be when you lose that many assistant coaches. Yeah, but that's not Nick's problem. I, I'm not saying that it is Nick his Nick should worry his about problem. Nick. Do you want to step away knowing that there's not a succession plan? Hey, I always said when I leave here, I hope my time slot plummets. <laughs> You think I want to? That's so good. You think oh. I want to leave here and the ratings go up? Well, you're a level four leader. Then you've read Jim Collins' book. Good no, to great. No, I want to leave you? this network someday. And literally, all these guys upstairs, like, shut, turn the lights off. So I mean, okay, that's, you, you're one of these guys that worries about the next guy. Sure, because I worry about the health of of the thing that's bigger than me. But that's all right. The, the narcissism aside, <laughs> I got another cheap you're, shot. you're a level four leader. You're a level four leader. Level five leaders build an Joy. organization to have success after they're gone. Man, level four leaders geez. enjoy the success while they're there, and then it plummets after they're gone. Narcissist is strong. Yeah. 
I'm just rooting, tendencies. I'm rooting against this time slot the day I retire. It's like a sprinkle of narcissism. I, oh, hey, that is, he just said actively, I'm rooting against this the time, time slot. slot. After, and you say no, no, that's a sprinkle listen, of narcissism, like little, it's like I a mean, sprinkled I, cookie? I don't, this is not the I mean, sugar like on like the donut. Little, that's the donut it's like itself. It's a little truffle shaving. Hey, hey Skip Bayless will be 108. Rooting for him. Whitlock will be 98. Rooting for him. This time slot, down in flames. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm going to take over this time slot. Okay, I got gonna, one I'm more. I'm going to take it over, and it's going to go through the roof. I think I'm the only honest one. Hey, <laughs> okay, one thing there. We're not going to do your ridiculous uh, upset of the week, but this is a very interesting weekend. Lou Holtz it once is. told me personally, we were it friends. Is. He said, you never get the same 19-year-old back-to-back weeks in college football. Sure. Girlfriend midterm. I agree. We got upsets happening this weekend. Um, By the way, watch out for Iowa over Minnesota. We're going to beat them. Minnesota had that... They're, they won the Super Bowl last year, last week, right? Iowa's now they go beating them. on the road to Iowa. Remember two years ago, Ohio State been, beat Penn State in that epic game with Saquon Barkley and JT Barrett. What happened the very next week? Both lost. Ohio State goes to Iowa and got their doors okay, blown off. Okay, LSU. Watch out. Watch out. And by the way, LSU goes to Ole Miss, back-to-back road games. LSU won their Super Bowl last week. I... I could see that being a little bit of a tangle late in the game. People are like, what's wrong with LSU? Just watch now, out. Those are, by those the way, are iffy for games. the first time, a real upset. I think LSU could lose this weekend. I really do. I wouldn't be shocked. I'll just say that. Right. They're, they're much better, obviously, than Ole Miss. But again, uh, the Lou Holtz theory. You don't get kids you the don't. same on back-to-back weeks. All right. Uh, only at Walmart, Michelin Endurance XD silicone wiper blades. They clear out the windshield so you can see college football takes clearly. You can see your sprinkle of narcissism there, and then it wipes it away. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just it's a series of shots. Uh, that was three. from Joy. I was just saying what Joy said. The herd.